Welcome to the second session of the Dashevan Academy. My name is Martin Wen and today I will explain some examples of use cases which are being developed using Dashevan. A first example is a parking guidance and information system installed in France with Wizelab Dashevan technology. Using this system, the operator has a detailed overview of the parking status and statistics of individual spots and zones. Sensors which are built in the parking spots detect the presence of a car. This status is sent using Dash 7 to one or more gateways. The sensor nodes embedded in the asphalt and under a car transmit at 13 dBm. The gateway is more than 120 meters away. Thanks to the range capabilities of sub one GHz, a direct sensor to gateway communication can be guaranteed. The same sensor node placed one meter above the ground can reach 1000 meters line of sight range. The sensor information is broadcast to multiple gateways to guarantee redundancy. Gateway acknowledgement messages guarantees quality of service and reduces transmission. The application can request status updates, battery information, or push over the air firmware and configuration updates using Dash 7. The sensor can operate on batteries for more than 5 years. The contribution of the Dash 7 communication only accounts for 15% of the overall power budget. A second example is from a Belgian company called Beligium. They build a system named Stralo. Location aware tablets are used to deliver location based dynamic content on the tablets to enable self guided tours in Musea. In this image, you see an example of the Talbot House in Belgium. In the museum, powered endpoints are placed, which send regular beacons. On the back of the tablets, the Sheva modules act as gateways which record the ID and the signal strength of the beacons. This information is sent using UR to the tablet, which calculates the current position and presents context-aware data. A third example is from a US company called Matrix Product Development. It produces sensor measurement systems for the food industry. The nodes are also used to visually identify a food cart by linking a LED on demand. The carts are located using subcontrollers which are installed in refrigerated rooms. A group of examples come from the University of Antwerp which use Dash 7 for low power presence detection while enabling mid-range communication. One example is a bird tracking system. Small birds with a weight of only 20 grams are tracked by a 1 gram Dash 7 module. Fixed bird houses are installed in the forest to lock the signal of the bird. They act as a subcontroller and relay the signal to the gateway. The gateway is located 400 meters outside the forest, indicated by the triangle in the left corner. The other triangles represent the birdhouses equipped with Dash 7 subcontrollers and some reference text used for testing. This brings us to the end of the first list of example applications which are using Dash 7. In the next video we will start looking deeper into the specific aspects of the Dash 7 protocol. Please feel free to send us any feedback using the link below.